Hi everybody, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a Power Apps super user. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to create organization chart for the logged in user and also show all the report is of the logged in user and their manager. Let us see the business case for this video. The business case for this video or this for this component is very straightforward. User want to see the reporting structure in organization up to the CEO. What does that mean is user should be able to see all the reports of their manager and their manager up to the CEO. And if we see how it look like quickly is it will show the logged in user which is Krishna Vandanapu and their manager when they click on this Krishna Vandanapu manager it will show the manager's name and so on and so forth. Let us see how we can implement this as a component and how we can leverage this component across the applications. I have logged on to Power Apps portal. Now I want to create this as a component. So let's go to component, new component, and I'm creating the component name as COMP org chart. And I'm going to provide the component width as 450 pixels and height as 768 because I want to use the full height of the app to show all the org structure. Let us add a container to hold all the controls of my component under one element. And we can as well do parent dot width and parent dot height so that it will use the complete height and width of my component. Now let's go ahead and add the label to see who is the logged in user and what is his manager details. In order to get the logged in user details, how I can do is I can do say like user dot email, which will give me the logged in user email ID. Now the logged in user manager name. In order to get that, we must add Office 365 connector into the application. Let's go and add the Office 365 connector to the app. Office 365 users, I'm connecting that. Now that I have added Office 365 users connector, let me add one more label to see who is the manager for the logged in user. That will come as Office 365 users followed by manager v2 here i can provide user dot email with this i will get the manager profile but i want to see only email of the manager that will give me the logged in user manager details now that I got the logged in user details and logged in user manager details, now I should know the logged in user reporting details. As we know, the reporting details could be one or more than one. Let me add a gallery because I'm very sure that my result set will be more than one value. I have added a gallery. In this gallery, I'm going to write the formula to get the user report. In order to get the logged in user report is office 365 users dot direct reports. You see that here I can provide again user email ID dot email. This will provide me all the direct report is for the logged in user. When I expand this, I can see all the direct users report is as demo user 2, demo user 1, demo user 3, Suresh M and Wengal B. These are all the direct report is of the logged in user. Now if you see, I got the logged in user email, logged in user manager details and logged in user reporting details. All we have to do now is I need to ensure that they are coming as one go than doing each and every element separately. In order to do that, what I need is all the data I need it into as a collection. And I can provide that collection to the gallery so it will come into one set of data. <clears throat> I'm sure most of you know that we 
cannot add on load for a component. So what I have to do is I have to add a icon or a button to perform this all the operations and put it into one simple collection. So I have added a icon on select of the icon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a logic to add all the data into one single collection. Taking time into accountability, I have already created the formula and I'm using the same formula here. Okay, let's walk through this code. What am I doing here? First step, I'm creating a collection. Don't worry, this warning, it shows in the component that you are operating the collections inside a component. It is not a delegation warning, so we need not to worry about that warning. Here, first thing, what I'm doing is I'm getting the manager details because I want to show the hierarchy as logged in user manager as first step and the second step as the logged in user and the third step as logged in user report is. So with this step, I am getting the logged in user manager details and I'm adding it to a collection. If you notice, I am doing an add column and adding a indentation value as one because I want that indentation value to show the gallery with the spacing. I will show you how I'm going to use that. And then I am adding the logged in user details onto the collection and then I am adding my logged in user report is into the collection as indentation value as three. One as logged in user manager, two as the logged in user, three as logged in user report is. Now, if we go back and assign that collection to the gallery as like this, we will see all the data of the logged in user, which is manager name, logged in user name, and their report is details. Okay. Let us click on this plus button. There you go. I see this manager name as first and the login user name as second and all his report is on the third place. Now I want to see their user profile picture as well because that will be more efficient and easy to understand who is who. Image and that image position as five pixel and two pixel. Let me put it like that way. And image is now the collection or sorry, this item dot profile picture. How do I get the profile picture? Now, in order to get the profile picture, we need to write one more set of logic to that user profile picture. Using this, I know that this item dot ID and has a photo. If I don't have a photo, I'm just showing the standard user picture, which I have already uploaded as a dummy picture to show that as part of the user profile picture. And if I have a photo, I'm getting the user, profo uh, user profile photo as part of my image. If I see that, this is how it is. Let me add the border radius to 15 so that it will come like a proper circle and now if I just decrease the size to say like 30 pixel as a width and 30 pixel as a height, there you go. I got a proper profile picture image. We need to indent this in such a way that my manager as first place and my logged in user as second place and uh, all the report is on the third place. How we can do that is using that indentation position. I have added IND value as IND value. Using that, I can indent my data appropriately. Let us see image on the image X coordinate. I wanted to say as if this item dot indentation value is greater than one then multiply by 30 pixel this indent item dot indentation value if not just push only 15 pixel and the time i did uh, i do that the image moved out i know that my image is already aligned as i need 
all I need to do is I need to ensure that my name is followed by my emails. So I'm going to say emails 8 dot x plus emails 8 dot width. If you see that it is coming right after my image. So I'm just adding 10 pixel just to see a gap between those two. Now I got all the logged in user details in a organization structure manner. Now my next step is if I select the specific user, then my organization structure should change according to my user selection. How I can do that is I should be able to get the selected user details, which means that I need to use the same code again and again, which I have added as part of my plus icon. So in order to achieve that, I'm going to create user defined function with the help of a toggle control. I have added a toggle control on toggle control on change. I have copy pasted the same very same code, but this time I'm going to make a little difference by passing one more value as va selected variable name, selected variable name on top of my label on select of my label on select here. I am going to add as I'm going to set a variable here as set. Remember in component update context won't work. So unfortunately I have to use set as my default function to set my value. This item dot mail because I need to get the details so I cannot go with the display name. So once I'm done with that, I need to use this variable as part of my user defined function. What I'm going to do that is if len of selected user is zero, I'm going to set here where selected user as user email, which means that if user has not selected anything, I wanted to get the logged in user reporting structure. If user select anything, I will get the selected user structure. So now let me go ahead and remove this because I want to get that details. I'm replacing that with this and replacing here also with that selected user variable. Like this now I have done everything. And if you see the error is it says like end of syntax, what it is is nothing but I have forgot to close my if condition. Now it is properly indented. I just properly formatted the text. Now I need to trigger this toggle control. What I have to do is I have to set my default value from the label. So along with setting that variable, I'm also setting another variable as set where or z and I'm going to use I'm going to toggle that and this will be my default va value for my toggle control. When I do that, let us see what happens is when I click on the selected user, it is going and getting their reporting structure. If you see, I have selected Sai Pradhvinath and his manager is April Denham and all his reports are Krishna, Raza and Matthew. Now if I select Krishna, I will get Krishna's manager and their report is. If I select demo user 2, I will get the demo user 2 manager and their report is. This is how the entire org structure works. Now let us add this org structure component onto my screen. I come back to the screen and I'll say org structure. That is where my arc structure is. And if I play my arc structure, uh, play this component. If you see this toggle control is going off and going on. This how we can achieve creating arc structure as a component. And now I can create one more screen and add that component. There you go. I got the component straight away. And if I run this, 
I can just see the same behavior here as well. This is how we can implement our org structure for the logged in user and also the for the selected user easily. If you like this video, do like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all future video notifications. Here is my contact. I'm highly available on Twitter and LinkedIn. I can respond immediately on Twitter. I have provided the GitHub link of this solution. You can download and use it in your solution straight away. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.